Bill, big fan of your comedy podcast. Let's do it every Tuesday on the way to work. Anyway, here's my deal. I moved to Austin, Texas about three fucking years ago because of a job. I had just broken up with a long time on again, off again girlfriend and was finally done with the relationship. I made the decision to be single for a while and enjoy the single life in Austin. Worked out well, but I soon met a lady. She turned out to be the girl for me and I was soon shopping for rings. So we're getting married in the fall. Congratulations. And I moved in about six months ago. You see, my girl is a real hard worker, as am I. Uh, Jesus Christ, this is fucking long. Settle in, everybody. No one has ever given us anything in life, and we both worked hard to earn what we have. And because of our hard work, we both have successful careers. Careers. My Boston accent just came out there. Successful careers. So she's busted her ass through college, got a job, and bought a house on her own. Impressive because she was only 24 at the time. God damn it, I wish I lived in Texas and could buy a house at 24. Middle of fucking nowhere. Anyways, and since then, we have worked hard to make it a home together. All sounds good, right? Yeah, it sounds great. Well, there is a catch. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. She has this friend who she's known since childhood. And they grew up together. This sounds like a fucking romantic comedy. They are like sisters, blah, blah, blah. She let her friend move into the house before we met. Oh, no. And was barely charging the girl rent at all. She also had her sister move in. But as soon as we decided to live together, her sister moved out like a normal fucking person. Anyway, so this friend of hers is still living in the house even six months after we got engaged and moved in together. Not only did she stay, she also had her loser boyfriend move in while living there. And while living there, she bought a cat and a dog. Well, I mean, what the fuck, dude? How come you're not saying anything? Oh, well, here's the next sentence. I had a million talks with my girl about it and how it's wildly inappropriate to have these people and animals living in our house when we're trying to start a family. But she feels responsible for the well-being of her friend and doesn't want... To throw her out on her ass. Oh, no. Holy shit, dude. How big is this house? Anyways, eventually I talk my girl into sitting down with her friend and her boyfriend and kindly tell them it's time to start looking for another place to live. They agreed, and everything was all good. So three months later, the friend still doesn't have a job, and her boyfriend is only working part-time. As far as I can tell, they haven't started looking for jobs or a place to live. I've heard her complaining to my girl about not wanting to sign a lease on a dump because she is planning on getting a job and will be able to afford a nicer place soon. Yeah, she's stringing you along. It's bullshit. She's the laziest bitch I ever met. Sounds like it, dude. The way you're describing it, I already hate her. I'm coming home every work day. Uh, I'm coming home from work every day, and her her and her boyfriend are sitting on the couch playing video games. Oh, my God. I also recently found out that my girl is not charging her friend any rent at all, and the boyfriend only pays 200 a month, which is nothing compared to what he could be making with the fuck, what we could be making with the roommate, and he's a fucking loser as well. 30 years old and never had a full-time job in his life. He brags about not having any debt all the time, but it's because he's a loser and he's been living off his girlfriend's student loans and my girl's kindness for the past two years. Do I have to read the rest of this? Let me blow through the last two paragraphs and mercifully end end this thing. People, try to keep these shorter. I suck at reading here. Um, I would be constantly bitching about these people to my girl, but it kills her to to know that I'm not happy. She spends a lot of time trying to make my life better, and I I really can't stand to see her sad or frustrated. She's stuck in a tight spot. Yeah, dude, the same thing she's doing with you. That she hates to see you not happy and she wants to keep you happy. She's doing that with her friends. She has to make a stand here. So he says, so to make a point, I've been leaving my stuff out in the kitchen in the living room and not cleaning up after myself. And in front of everybody, I tell my girlfriend to leave it, that she should, that they should have to clean it up because we're doing them a favor for letting them live there. I've pretty much been a cocksucker openly to them every day for the last three months, but they haven't gotten the hint. Yeah, they have. They're fucking deadbeats. They're just ignoring it. 
So anyways, but me behaving like that makes my girlfriend uncomfortable too, so I backed off a bit. So the latest is that they finally are starting to pick up on the fact that we want them out and are making provisions to move out. But I've recently found out that they are planning on moving in with my girl's mom just down the street. Her mom thinks of the friends as a daughter or a good family friend and is allowing this. This pisses me off because I know they're just going to mooch off her mom just like they did my girl. So now I know I'm planning on having another talk. No, don't do that. Don't do that. So now I am planning another talk with them about starting their own life separate from my girl or family, but I know they wouldn't get the message unless I came out and became a complete dick, which would totally kill my girlfriend. What should I do? This is what you do. All right? Um, Let them move into your girlfriend's mom's house. Let them fucking do it. Get it out of your house. All right. Eventually, they're well, they they will wear out their welcome at your mom's house, and then they're gone. It's it's. But the thing is, right now, is if you if you tell her mom that they're fucking deadbeats and that type of shit, she, if you'll either come off like a dick, or she'll say, "Well, then to hell with it. They're not moving in." And then they'll be like, "Well, we can't move out of your place," and now you're stuck with them. All right. You have the things that wouldn't leave in your fucking house. And they're leaving. Let them leave. Let them go down to your sister's mom's house. This is probably where your, 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 I mean your girlfriend's mom's house. This is probably where she learned that fucking behavior from. You know? So that's her house. Right now what it is is you personally hate these motherfuckers. And you want them to live in the shithole that they so rightfully deserve to live in. So what you're doing right now is you're letting... Your, your personal hatred of them get in the way of your ultimate goal, which is to get them the fuck out of the house, which is happening, okay? If her mother wants to take them in, let her do it. And eventually she will discover that they're fucking moochers. Now, I know what you're thinking. Like, what kind of a fucking future son-in-law am I if I don't give her the heads up? And I'm telling you, just judging by the way your future bride is, this is just how they are. They're giving people who get taken advantage of by mooches. And the same way your fiancé is learning this lesson, your mother's going to learn the lesson. So these people are actually great that they came into your life because hopefully you'll be able to use them as an example all throughout your marriage. Whatever their fucking names are, you're going to be like, well, look, we're going to end up in another situation like Kathy and Michael Fuckface. Remember that when they sat on the goddamn couch playing Atari? For three fucking years. Um, Yeah, dude. Listen. You don't want to fight both those fights. You'll end up like America. You're going to have two wars going on at once. You're going to go bankrupt. Don't do that shit. All right? Iraq is your house. Let them go to fucking Afghanistan. Don't fucking worry about it. Or vice versa. We went into Afghanistan first. I don't know how to fucking say it. I don't read. 